Welcome to your support group podcast, home of the number one podcast that supports you. Do always Christmas. It ain't New Year's, but it's definitely winter time in North Carolina. I don't know how it is in Florida, cute, but uh, it looked like you got on about two layers, so <laughs> it must be fifty nine outside. It's, it's fifty five. Yeah, I was close. I was close because uh, in North Carolina, it's currently, I think, what, about 30, 30, 40 with the wind chill. Um, it ain't too nice out there. I could tell when uh, my wife and my daughter walked in the house, look on their face was like, hey, so we just got hit with a brick outside. <laughs> <laughs> they had that, they had that shock look like, it's warm. <laughs> okay. Yep. But uh, yeah, it just I, I don't know why in North Carolina it's this issue with uh bread and milk. But um, they're calling for some kind of bad weather in North Carolina, and you know automatically that means no bread and milk. And I don't understand. I think we have this conversation every year. I don't understand what bread and milk is going to do. I guess you make a bread and milk sandwich. You make some <laughs> bread pudding. Um, I don't understand what bread and milk is going to do if the power goes out. Because one, the, the the milk is going to go bad, and the bread. I guess you ball it up in little balls and you let it dry out in the sun or whatever, and and eat it as time goes on. More, please. More. May I have more more bread balls, please? And you eat them <laughs> and stuff like that, and that helps your family to survive. Like when again, I I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit perturbed and confused because, like like I've said on multiple occasions, I started off life in New Jersey. Um, we had very bad winters there. But I never recall not being able to go to the store and getting bread and milk. <laughs> it, it, and, the North Carolina thing. Specifically, I don't know if it's the entirety of North Carolina, but definitely Guilford, Forsyth, Mecklenburg, and all those other surrounding counties just go Ka wild. Cabarrus, Gaston. <laughs> um, let's just keep on naming them. It's the whole Piedmont area. Davidson. <laughs> yeah, it's the whole Piedmont area of North Carolina. Whatever they teach you in school, what's the Piedmont area of the state? It's the Piedmont area of North Carolina, the whole entire little strip, because for some odd reason, and I kind of see some validation and some weirdness to it, but the validation point would be if the storm comes up from Atlanta around the mountain, we normally get it pretty bad. If it comes over the mountain, I'm like, man, go ahead and get the shorts and, and tank tops ready. He ain't about to get it. Yeah. But... Yeah, I can only imagine what the people on the coast do. I can only imagine what the people on the coast do. If the Piedmont is bread and milk, the the coast is probably like rice and gravy or something crazy. Like, <laughs> but people, it's so weird out here when the temperature drops below a certain amount. You just don't see people outside like talking about because they have to be. Like they don't know what to do. <laughs> Yeah, no, like, no, they, they, they body goes into malfunction <laughs> mode or something like that. Like, they like, they like, hold up, it's too cold to be in North Carolina. Let's uh, walk this one back, or, or you'll see everybody out there doing something stupid like speeding when it, when it's like freezing the rain or something like that. Like I'm just trying to hurry up and get home. Yeah, you trying to hurry up and get somewhere? It ain't home. Right. Definitely. You know? But so today's topic. <laughs> Da, 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 is something that Q mentioned in her four words. Okay. All right. So the first part of it, Q actually mentioned, she didn't mention the complete part of it. It was self and care. Self -care. Right, it was self care. And so today's topic is self happiness. Uh. And what is self happiness? Uh. Well, uh. that doesn't involve lotion. 
Doesn't involve lotion, doesn't involve you going to the internet. No, that's not self-happiness. That's self-something else. That's self-gratification. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You you gratifying there. Um but you know, self-happiness is the act of basically making yourself happy, finding happiness with yourself. You know, not not having anything outside of you that makes you happy. Now, I know some people think, you know, maybe if I get on the internet and load up some pictures and do these spectacular things, you know, on the internet, maybe because of that energy, that endorphin that the internet gives, well, social media gives, maybe that counts as self-happiness. No. Nope, you're relying on others still to make you happy. Okay, so maybe if I go out and go get a haircut and then everybody tells me my haircut is bad, but I'm still happy with my haircut, does that mean that I have self-happiness? Actually, yes. You are very happy with yourself. A little delusional, <laughs> but, but happy nonetheless. I mean, <laughs> it, it sounds delusional, right? When you, when you think about it at the end of the day, self-happiness... <laughs> Has a little bit of delusional and what what, what they say uh, conceitedness to it. I mean, regardless of how somebody else feels about you or whatever they may say, as long as you're happy with yourself, that's what really matters, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you're going out there and committing murders, if you're happy with committing those murders, then yeah. <laughs> something ain't right with you in the head, but okay. <laughs> You have a sick way of conveying yourself happiness, but I mean, you're still happy with yourself. And pick your knife up too and leave. Um, but yeah, it's just crazy when you think about you know how people wait and work with self happiness. Like it's a lot of people that's walking around here that's not happy with themselves, and it impacts others. You know, it they don't they don't they don't treat others well. You know, or they're always combative or they always find a problem with something, or they're just complaining, 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 complaining. Have you ever seen somebody like that? Yeah. Like, they're <laughs> so draining, too. It's like, go on somewhere with all that foolishness. There ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't about to suck the life out of me. <laughs> and, and, and that's exactly what they do. Because, you know, the old saying, misery loves company. They want to hear about you being not happy with yourself and miserable yeah. as well. You know, so they try to put those little conversations like y'all talking about, for example, y'all talking about the picture on the wall. And all of a sudden, uh, your friend, I'm pretending to be cute right now, a friend, Shanita, whatever her name is. I'm just making up names. She may not have a friend named Shanita. She may do. I don't know. But she needs to be like, hey, girl. I'm so tired. My husband, he da 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 da. And Q, he would probably say, "Oh, girl, well, da 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 da." And then she goes back to Q and says, "Well, girl, you know, I don't know. Maybe your man does this. I think all men do this." And da 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 da. What she's trying to do is she's trying to suck the misery out of Q. So what I mean by that is she's trying to get those bad nuggets. So now because she's miserable, she's going to pull those nuggets out, pull the drawer out and then throw something in the drawer and then, and then hope that it works. So y'all can have a misery party together. Yeah. That is so, <laughs> and it's so weird when you meet people like that. It's like, and it's the saying for every problem so for every for every solution they have a problem like every time you they tell you something is wrong and then you give them a solution then they find something wrong with your solution and it's like so why'd you even call me then they, why are they, we... they don't know but if you yeah, want they to do be know. happy be miserable go be miserable but don't call me with it right right I mean, you said you don't know why they called you for it, but they do know. You know, inside your head. Like, listen to this miserable-ass person 
just trying to just suck me into their misery. And it doesn't make any yeah. sense, you know? Um, and, and that's where self happiness comes into play. You know, if you're happy with yourself, regardless of what's going on at home, you're not bringing it into work. You're not bringing it into conversations with your friends. You, you just, you, you're so far beyond all that, that it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter because you have self happiness. You got some things that you probably need to work on at home. Yeah. You got some things that you probably need to work on at work. Yeah. But as long as you're happy with yourself, that misery won't follow you. It won't engulf you. It won't eat you alive, you know? And people just don't seem to get that. So they just walk around. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm happy that, you know, my beard, it don't, it don't come all the way in, but it, you know, it, it got a little, Oh, T, it made me look different. And then plus everybody think because it, grow, it barely grows in and they see it, they think I'm about 10 years younger. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, self-happiness and self-care go hand in hand. So that's why I said, you know, something that Q talked about, but didn't really talk about. And it was self-care and self-happiness goes hand in hand because if you, if you, Got if you got self happiness, you're gonna deal. You're gonna do your self care. You know. Yeah, definitely. Self happiness is definitely a component of self care because it's one of the things that I talk to my kids about. It's like you ain't happy with you. How are you gonna be happy with other people? You're just always gonna be trying to to shape yourself to fit with people what you think people want you to be. So just right. be who you want to be. And if the people who like who you are will come to you. And don't worry about trying to fit into some some category. Because it's like wearing a mask. Eventually you get tired of wearing a mask. But if you just be who you are, there's no mask to take off. Like this this is who you this how I'm I am right now it's pretty much what you're going to get when you meet me in person. Now, depending on the situation, I might could be a little rah-rah. I could be a little bit more reserved, but for the most part, this is what you get. And factual. <laughs> factual, factual. I mean, you know, I, I tell people all the time, you know, I'm I'm with that with, with people I you know, just just basically met, you know. My, my icebreaker for me because I have a little bit of a no new friends networking issue type, <laughs> you know, um, my circle is like, <laughs> oh, but for me, just to be able to have a conversation with somebody new, I, I got to crack jokes. I got to throw my jokes up out there. You know, that's my icebreaker. Um, but how you see me is how I am with everybody, you know, um, I'm not, I'm not a combative person. I'm not a conducive person, you know, and if I see that you're one of those people, I'll just start slowly just tiptoeing off into the yeah. no more. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, oh, okay. Yeah. And oh, wow. Look at the time. You know what? I think my wife called me because she wants me to make her a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. She don't <laughs> even eat those. Gotta go. Like, I gotta go mop the ocean. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I gotta go dust the sugar. You know? Right. But it's just, you know... They give it Right. Yeah, but, it's like those know, people who, uh... Every time you see them, they, they, they whining about the same thing. and It's like, you still talking about that thing? Like, come on now. It's now been five years people. already. Five those years people. already. Those people, those are the people that you give advice to and they consistently keep doing the same thing. Now, anybody that knows the definition of that, let me know in the comments because it is right. called insanity. It is. That's when you keep doing the same things and expecting different results. And people keep on complaining about the same thing for the last five years and ain't nothing changed. You know what? You need to stop complaining. It's you. Either make some changes. Changes, stop complaining. 
That's it. What's that you song know. by your girl? It's <laughs> you. You're the problem. It's you. <laughs> it's like look in the mirror and see what the issue is. Like I always say, if you live in Canada, you have issues. And then you move to Mexico, most likely will have those same issues just in a different language because you have not changed. All you did is took yourself and then moved yourself to a new location, but you have not changed the behavior that caused you to have those issues. Exactly. Why? Why? So. Stop blurring me, camera. Stop blurring me, camera. Yeah. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Uh, camera is just having a little bit of blurring issues. I guess it's too cold for it. I don't know. You know, North Carolina winters are brutal. Anyway. <laughs> don't know why I'm blurring today. Got an attitude problem. But, um. Yeah, when you when you keep you know thinking that you, you, you ever see those like celebrities that keep on getting married and married, you wondering like why do they keep on getting remarried? Sorry, it's not the person that they're marrying; it's just the person that's doing all the marrying <laughs> that has the problem. If ah, hang it, I hate to throw a name about it. If you look at somebody like J Lo. Has been in multiple relationships, multiple, and always finds fault with somebody or something is wrong with that relationship. Well, I'm sorry. She she has to do some self care, self happiness, uh, and it's all right. To, you know, even in a relationship, to spend some time by yourself, you know, to figure out what you actually want in self care and self happiness. But some people just, you know, keep on going around and on doing the same thing and expecting different results. And it's yeah, sad. And that's because some people are in, in love with being in love. Yeah. I mean, I mean don't a, actually, I was going to say, they don't do what you just said two seconds ago. They don't take time to be by themselves and really understand what it is they want. <laughs> right. And like I was about to say, it's a great idea. I mean, yeah, they, they in love with the idea of being in love, but it's a great idea. But it ain't for everybody. It ain't for every instance. You know, something I said a couple of podcast episodes early, just because you have a baby by somebody doesn't mean you're supposed to marry them or be in a relationship with them or anything like that. That's just you made a decision <laughs> to lay down with somebody. Raw dog. <laughs> Raw dog. And that's not self-care nor self-happiness because uh, you don't know what that person got. And... You know, y'all y'all did the thing, but that's not going to add to your self care, self happiness if y'all go into a relationship or marry. Mm. Maybe maybe that that person just needs to be a person taking care of their child from the outside. Y'all be to go. Stop trying to force things out here in this world too, because self happiness is not forced. It is something that you actually do. And it's ingrained in you. Mm -hmm. it, it takes it takes time to build up that because everybody is not always utterly happy with themselves. Every day, sure. all the time, I would say you have a mental problem, or you probably that psycho killer that I was just talking about a few minutes earlier, going around stabbing folks and saying, "Oh, I'm so happy! Look at my knife." Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, I know this camera is bugging me out right now. Um, I mean, one minute is like in out. <laughs> now you clear, yeah. clear as day. I know it's just flickering. It's just, but yeah. So I guess this episode is just going to be all audio. But in my closing, Hugh has her closing. <laughs> but in my closing, uh, self happiness, self care, self everything, self. Uh, mental mental help, you know, all that stuff goes into one bucket. And if you don't do all those things, and 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 find the happiness in each, or at least start start working towards it, one of them is going to start going out of sorts. Care, 
happiness or your mental health. Yeah. That's my thoughts. You? Self happiness. Keyword self means being content with the person that you are. And that doesn't mean that you're perfect. It just means that you know who you are, the bads, and all of that stuff. Recognize your weaknesses, you appreciate your strengths, and then you say to yourself, the things that I'm not so good at, hey, is whatever. So I can make an effort to either work on them or just concede that that's just not a thing that's for me. That is part of self-happiness. That is part of self-awareness. And that is a part of self-care. Because just because you see somebody who know how to pop, lock, and drop it, and you thinking, I, I, I might want to pop, lock, and drop it too. But then you go and you try to pop the lock go to drop and then you just stay down there because your knees ain't what they used to be. <laughs> just go up, stop you. Let it go. And, anyway. and, and big shout out to all the guys that's over six foot two and think they can dance. Like everybody's not Chris Brown. We can't all get down like Chris Brown. So all right. If you're over six two and you can dance, be happy. Trust me. Yeah. I'm six two and some change. I got two left feet. I'm not about to be out here pop locking and dropping nothing. And I'm happy with not being able to dance because that gives me the ability to do something silly. That's the you dance. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And all of that, all of that is part of self happiness. It's like saying to yourself, you know, I'm not good at that thing, but I know somebody who is, and I can appreciate that person who is. The things that I am good at, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick butt at that. Like I can. I can bake, I can cook, I can write, I can dance, and I can put together a good workout. I will appreciate the things that I'm good at, and that is part of my self-happiness. So what are you good at? What can you appreciate yourself for? And just love on yourself more. And don't be afraid to say no to stuff. Just yeah. Learn how to say no without explaining just be like if it if it's a situation that's not for you just say no and then move on or do Let like my daughters do say no why no why no why, why. <laughs> yep and, and that's it and that's all i got that's it that's it that's it at the end of the day what if nobody told you today that they love you we do and if you haven't had an opportunity to go to our website. Yes, you do. Let me put it up here. Right here, right here. YSGpodcast.com where we have all our episodes. Uh, we got a couple of blogs up there. Read them, check them out. And link up with us. Subscribe, share, comment. We love it all. Thank you. Have a blessed one. Peace.